Hi guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a duct tape flower pen. And this is what my flower pens look like. Look like this. And they're really neat and cool. And what I like to do with mine is put diamonds in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I like to put diamonds in the middle of mine. And I like to put leaves around it to make them just look more realistic. And that's what I did with this one. And so, you might have seen my order video. So yeah, let's get started. First, what you'll need is a pen, duct tape, an X-Acto knife, I purchased mine from Walmart, a straight edge, my ruler is Westcott from Walmart, a cutting surface, mine is Fiskars from Walmart, um, diamonds, which are optional, leaves, which are also optional, and a hot glue gun, and this is for if you're using the leaves and diamond. So, let's get right into the tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your pen, and mine is three inches long, and then you're going to wrap your pen in your stem color tape, and I'm going to be using the green tape. And what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap your base, which is what I'm doing here. And yeah, okay, so that's what I'm doing here. And then you can wrap your pen cap, which is what I'm also going to do. And I think that means mine is two and a half inches long. And so I'm just going to wrap my pen cap, and then I will be done with that. So then what you're going to do is cut four 18-inch strips of your flower color tape. And that is what you're going to see me do here. Um, and that is going, doing, going to just be your... Um, flower petal colors you can use as many colors as you want whatever colors you want I just I'm just using solid colors because that's what my mother wanted but I've seen so many different patterns and colors and schemes and you can just have fun with it so yeah so what you're going to do here is you're going to take your pieces of tape and you're going to cut them at every two inches and this is what is going to form your flower petals and your flower petals are two inches wide and later on you will see how you're going to fold them and all but right here you're just going to cut them at every two inches and that's what I did and as you can probably see I didn't cut four 18 inch strips which is what I usually do but I wanted to make the flower smaller so I cut two long 18 inch strips of red, a 12 inch strip of red, and a 10 inch strip of pink. And I will alternate those colors. So yeah. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take one of your two inch pieces. And sorry, I'm doing this with one hand so it's a little difficult. Um, and so... You're going to take one corner and you're going to fold it into the middle, like I am attempting to do here. And you're going to press it down. Then you're going to take your other corner and fold it down to meet that in the middle to form a triangle at the top of it. And then you're going to press that down. As you can see, that's how your flower petal will be formed. Yeah. So as you can see here, I have made all of my petals and I have them laying out the way I'm going to stick them on the flower. And they're in alternating colors, four red, then a pink, and four red, then another pink. And so I'm going to now show you how to put them on. So now you're going to take one of your petals and you're going to set the pin on the sticky part, the end of the pin on the sticky part of the petal, like so. And then what you're going to do is just wrap around wrap the petal around the stem like so and then 
you're going to take another petal and put it on the opposite side of the petal that you just placed down. I don't know if that makes sense, but it should. And you're going to do it like that, and you're going to stick it down, and then you're just going to wrap around like so. Once you get that, you should have like this little beak looking thing in the middle. And then you're going to take another petal and you're going to put that in between the two that you just made. Not literally in between, but like this. See? And then you're going to wrap that around and then you're going to take another petal and put it directly opposite of the petal that you just placed down. And once you get that, you're going to just keep going with your petals you don't have to alternate just like that but just keep wrapping your petals around your flower until you get it the way you want it to be so yeah so as you can see here i have finished putting on my petals and you can leave it like this the way i have it or you can put a, some leaves around it and put a diamond in the middle which is what I'm going to show you how to do next now what you're going to do is take your leaves and I got these leaves off of fake flowers you know like the fake flowers you can find at the dollar store that have like a little hole in the middle and yeah so what you're going to do is you're going to cut a T in that hole right there just right over the hole you're going to cut a T like you kind of see me doing here and that just widens the hole in the leaves so you can stick it on to your flower yeah okay so you're going to slide your leaves up your stem like you see me doing here and then you're okay yeah and so then once you get them up the stem, you're going to put them in places where it covers up all of the fold-over lines where you place on the flowers. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and place a strip on one of your leaves, like you see me doing here. Not a big strip, not all the way up, just like a little bit, like a fourth of an inch maybe. And you're going to slide it up and push it onto the flower petals, like so. And you're going to do that with... Yeah, you're going. Sorry, my thing stopped recording. You're going to do that with all of your petals. Just place a little strip and pull it upward towards the flower petals. And that is what I'm doing here. And then you're going to take your other leaves and you're going to cut a T in the middle of those as well just like the other one and then you're going to slide it up the stem of the flower and you're going to place the leaves in between the gaps of the other leaves that are hot glued so like wherever there's a gap that's where your next leaf should go So you're, not, you're going to take some hot glue and wrap it around the uh, bottom part of your other leaves. Just the bottom part. And then you're going to take your leaves and just slide them up. And anchor them into place. Like so. Then you're going to take your stem color duct tape and you're going to cut one eighth of an inch. Like a really, really small piece. I think it's one eighth of an inch. Yes, one eighth of an inch off. And you see how small that is. Just a teeny strip. And you're going to take that and wrap it around those leaves just to cover up the little ugly parts. And 
and you see that's how you do that now I'm going to show you how to add the diamond in the metal and my diamonds are the acrylic jewels diamonds and I'm going to use the biggest one that they have in the pack and so what you're going to do is you're going to put hot glue just squeeze a bunch of hot glue in the very center of your flower squeeze enough hot glue in there to come all the way up to the top of your center don't let it overflow just reach the very edge of the top I need another glue stick and just let it reach the very top therefore your diamond won't sink down to the bottom and the hot glue will harden inside of that So once you do that, you're just going to take your diamond and place it right on top of that hot glue. It will not sink down. Just take the diamond and place it right on top of that hot glue. Make sure it's not turned to the side and it's perfectly flat or else you'll have to push it down and start all over. Like so. Ta-da! So here's the finished product. It's really pretty. I alternated the colors with the pink and the red. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, and I added the leaves and the diamond in the middle like I always do. The green stem, pink and red flower. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and check out my website. The link is in the description box below. And just stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks, guys. Bye.